guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have my friend Raymond. Uh, he drives this blue supercharged S2000, which was fourth place at Global Time Attack this year. Um, Raymond and I do a good amount of track day and autocross together, so I thought it would be a good car to bring here on the channel and show you guys. So um, I'm going to give the mic to Raymond and he'll tell you a little bit about his driving experience and why he chose the Honda S2000. Hey everyone, I'm Raymond. Um, this is my car, uh, a 2007 Honda S2000. Um, I started driving uh, auto cars five years five years ago. I since then I fall in love with S two thousand. I used to have the other one, and uh, I like how it handle and how the NA VTEC engine sounds. It's um, not NA anymore. Yeah, this one is <laughs> supercharged. Yeah. Su supercharged, little bit faster, little yeah. bit. <laughs> and um, and been going to the track for the last three years. And then this year, I joined the Global Time Attack to want to challenge myself. And uh, I got four pace in street cars. That's the hardest class. Yes, I don't <laughs> know why. Somehow it's the fastest cars. So yeah, we're going to go around the car and tell you guys a little bit about it. And um, we'll show you guys the details and then we'll take it for a quick test drive. Okay, so we're here with the hood open, uh, check out the motor, and I'm going to give the microphone to Raymond to tell us a little bit about the car. So um, I guess we'll just start off with uh, the obvious thing. So why don't you talk to us about the supercharger, how much power this car puts out. So this supercharger is just a bolt on to the stock engine. It would has, the car has 400 wheel horsepower Jeez. <laughs> with like 290 torque. And then um, F22, with, right? Yes, it's an F22, uh, 2.2 liter engine. Uh, it's a little bit different than the AP1. AP1 is 2.0. Yeah. But this one went a little bit lower than the AP1. It's like 8,300 mm -hmm. RPM. And then I got this from from my friend. Um, and then uh, after that, I uh, installed a header, um, test pipe exhaust. So you have to have like everything set up together to, to get to that horsepower. Oh, does it all come as one kit? With the no, header, it, it doesn't come with one kit. So you have to, you have to buy those header and test pipe and exhaust um, separately. Mm -hmm. And then um, the first thing I, after I put the supercharger on, the first thing I worry about is the cooling issue. Cooling issue, okay. Because um, I think it will overheat on the track because usually a 20 minute session and then I'm pumping up like double of the horsepower. Yeah. So, so the first thing I got is the the radiator, aluminum radiator. Okay. Um, up, yeah, updated, uh, upgrade cooling fan, cooling page, and I also have an oil cooler. Okay. Okay. So. Um, the oil cooler is mounted up front. Probably um, can't see it. Yeah, I got it like between the the radiator after. I mean, in front of the radiator. And does the oil cooler go to the sand, like a sandwich plate? Yeah, sandwich oh, yeah. plate to the to the oil filter. Okay. Downstairs, and then I uh, also got a oil catch can. Oil catch can really important. With that 2000. Yeah. If not, you were smoking at the corner like crazy. <laughs> and I think one is worried about you. <laughs> even NA or only? Yeah, even even NA, okay. even NA. My friend always had this kind of problem. <laughs> yeah. I think pretty nice. much for the engine, and then it stopped. Engine. <laughs> Stock engine not open. Yeah. Okay, so we're here um, up front with the wheels and tires so we can show you guys the brake setup and all that. So, Raymond, why don't you tell us a little bit more about the brake setup and tire setup on the S2000? Sure. So, we got a um, Yokoma Advent AO52 tires. So, um, this is a 200 track wear tires. It's, it's required uh, to have those tires for a global time attack. Uh, and then they're, they're, they're really, really good compared to, I used to um, use the RE71R. I think those are better tires oh. than the RE71R. It's really, really fast tires. I guess I should switch then. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of expensive. Too. Yeah. And then uh, we got a uh, C28 uh, wheels. This is the uh, offset 50, 17 by nine and a half. And I also like the style of the C28. Yeah, yeah, they're super classic. Really yeah. 
fancy fancy guy man. yeah you got raised you got uh, raised lug nut uh, yeah expensive <laughs> it will make you faster <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit about the brake setup here too so uh upgrade the front brake uh to the stop tap um chovy uh bbk and then with the two-piece rotor okay um because i used to have the spoon uh caliber with like a stock rotor but then um they always crack at the track okay so so it's must to have a two-piece motor if you track your f2000 you, you don't want to crack at the track when you're stepping on the brake and then nothing happening and then you also had that problem when cracking rotors would stop right i remember yeah you told i me. have before like cracking almost every time i go to the track every time i went to the witch i would crack but raymond breaks really hard a lot harder than other people i've seen <laughs> You have to break cart to go faster. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you gotta yeah. rotate the car. Right? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So yeah, this is a P and I setup for for track S two thousand. Um, and then one more thing is you change the two piece. One one thing is pretty good is you don't need to replace the motor that often. So actually, it sounds expensive to upgrade a BBK, but it's better. It's cheaper than you keep replacing the motor. Oh uh, yeah, I guess if you're racing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So. That's a little bit about the braking setup. Now we can talk a little bit about a um, little aero. Not too much aero, it's not that crazy, but let's go around the car and show you guys. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're here at the rear of the car. So we can check out the aero package Raymond has. So we, I don't have a lot of aero, but the most important one for the S2000, of course, the, the rear wing. This is the Voltat um, rear wing, carbon fiber rear wing. And I also got a um, extended 275 um, millimeter uh, wing stand so it would make the wing higher um, I also have the so we got like a, a weird diffuser okay um, it's a, what style is that or? it's a, like a Voltax style uh, diffuser it how I hoping it helps some down, help getting more down force okay so now we're here up front so why don't you tell us a little bit about this this is interesting this is the fun speeder um, that is the purpose to create downforce at the front to balance out the, the rear wing. Do you think it makes a difference? Like, did you feel the difference at all? Yes. If you're getting uh, high speed, like like 100 mile plus, you, you can feel it. it feel, the car is more st stable. Okay. Okay. Hope you guys like that little tour of the S2000. It's obviously a very nice, clean street build that's also very fast as it's got yeah <laughs> fourth place global time attack car i yeah. think this is one of the cleanest uh, c1000s i know it's like everything's paint match but it's also very fast so here comes a good part we're gonna go take it for a little test drive let's do it yeah and uh we'll show you guys how it handles and how it performs so we're here in s2000 we're driving normal and the car's really comfortable even though it's a fourth place global time attack car. Yeah. So we're here low RPM. It's yeah. very quiet. Yeah. I like this. Uh, what suspension? I don't think we talked about it. Yeah. Um, this is the teen super racing coilover. And then um, I got that um, used, but I rebuilt it. And then um, changing the spring weight to 18K. 18K square? Yeah. 18K square. Where do you get it rebuilt? Uh, actually, they have a uh, teen factory rebuild shop in California. So you just get send it that to them, and then we can rebuild it for you. Sitting in the corner, you can a little bit gas out. You okay. can feel it, grab it. Yeah, I'm not pushing it. It's just, it's really fast. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is freaking fast. Like 
like it. Yeah, yeah. I'm really happy for all the work I spent on it and then make it make it handle like this. Yeah, because it's not like overpowered. It just feels balanced. Yeah. So, we'll just get some cool sounds for you guys. Yeah, that's a good sound. 
man. <laughs> yep. Man, another thing, even though it's not the modification, is the S2000 shifter. The best. By far the best. The best, yes. I know they sell short shift kits still, but I don't think anyone needs that. Yeah. This is the best shift. The Fractor V1 is, is perfect. And there's no play. Like, this is what people modify their car to feel like. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's like a soft shifter already. Yeah. It's also not harsh. So this is 18k spring, but yeah. it's not like... It, it feels really good, right? Yeah, it's very just smooth, but I think because you have quality damper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then I didn't ask, what sway bar? Do you have sway bar? Uh, no, I like the, it's a stop sway bar. I like the stop one better because I can do the adjustment on the coil over instead of changing the sway bar setting. I like that better. So you prefer to that. Is that yeah. because you get more independent movement? Um, it's not, it's for me, it's just not making this too complicated to adjust. You know, if you have sway bar setting, you have to adjust auto coil over, rebound and compactions and tire pressure and then you just lost the uh, there's too many things <laughs> to adjust yeah that's true and you know at the track there's not much time for you to keep testing so i like to just have to stop one and then do the adjustment from the pull over and then the tire pressure and those stuff. what alignment do you have uh i remember i i did the last time when i go to gta it's uh negative two camber I run negative like 2 on the front, 2.5 of the rear. Yeah. Now I adjust it to negative like 3 for auto cost. It feels better too. Yeah, it feels really nice. Yeah. It feels very neutral. I mean, we haven't driven, this is not at the limit, but it feels neutral for what we yeah. do now. You can drive it every day. It's still really comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. One more. <laughs> yeah.